Hello guys, welcome to another video of its S1 Plus series. And in this video, using S1 Plus, we will be modeling a scrubber, or you can say absorber, and uh, to scrub acetic acid. Here, have a look on our problem. So the task is to design an absorption unit to scrub acetic acid from feed gas. The conditions I have summarized the conditions of the two streams that are feed gas and uh, solvent to be used for absorption in the form of a table and uh, you can have a look on this problem the solvent is pure water and uh, we, uh, we have assumed that there is no regeneration of solvent let us quickly move to the Aston plus environment Here we are in the Aspen Plus properties environment. In the properties environment, we are supposed to provide Aspen what are the components we are working with and uh, the property package that we are going to use to estimate the properties. So for that, the first component will be water, the second one will be nitrogen gas, then CO2, then Acetic acid. For that, uh, the component I don't know the component ID of acetic acid. It must be different from the common name that's acetic acid. So for that, write acetic acid. It will take you to the find components wizard and uh, let us find it. Here it is. Click on this, then add selected components, and we are done. So we have entered our four components. Now we have to specify the Henry components because we have two Henry components in this problem. The first one is nitrogen, and the another one is carbon dioxide. So for that, but first we have to specify the property package that we are going to use. For that, go to specifications. Base method will be NRTL. NRTL is an activity coefficient based method. It's good when you have uh, non idealities in liquid phase and uh, you are away from critical region. We have any components as well. Click on this drop down menu and uh, create a new component. Let it be default. Okay. Next, we want to go to the next required input step that will be the specification of Henry's component. We have nitrogen gas and carbon dioxide gas as our Henry components. Select these two components and we are done. So we have specified Henry components, we have specified uh, the property package that is an RTL. Let me again check. Uh, this, these are components, the methods they are. NRTL method name is NRTL as well. Now the parameters. Go to this binary interaction parameters. We want to check the Henry parameters. So these are temperature dependent binary parameters, and the Aspen is retrieving these parameters from these data banks. You can check these data banks as well. These are built-in data banks that uh, comes uh, with Aspen Plus. Let me have a look on our NRTL parameters as well. We haven't got any, so it means that uh, from these data banks, Aspen is unable to get any. To get these parameters, I'm going to use estimate using Unifac. It's another property package. Uh, it's a activity coefficient based method that uh, uh, can be used to estimate parameters. Now we are done. With uh, Henry parameters and uh, NRTL parameters, just click on this run button. So we have got these NRTL parameters. This tells us that uh, these parameters have been retrieved using group contribution or Unifac method. The second step is to go to the simulation environment. Let's go there. 